for those who in the panel who have a very strong um, consumer brand alongside your employer brand, how do you balance the perception, right? Um, or wave it into your employer brand? I think I can just quickly tell a personal story when, you know, I, I, I went from one of my former jobs where um, a lot of people believe that a strong consumer brand is good enough and you don't need an employer brand, but it sometimes really starts with like, who owns that, right? Who owns it? Is it the, the, the talent team, the people team? Is it the marketing team? Is it a collaboration of both? So can you just um, share with us and, and, and everyone in the audience, like, how do you do that? How do you balance, like, with a stronger consumer brand that an employer brand is needed? And how do you balance this off? Yeah, so here, here at DraftKings um, in the United States, we have a really strong consumer brand. Um, it's very popular. Our product is very popular among sports fans. And, you know, that has led us to have a really strong following and really strong brand awareness uh, for who we are um, uh, across across the country. We went public back in uh, April of 2020, and that allowed us to expand into Europe, where there was zero consumer product, right? No consumer brand for DraftKings whatsoever. So when we look at uh, hiring and our employer brand, we realize that it is a critical component and a critical function of talent acquisition in order to build a story and establish DraftKings as an employer of choice within, within the tech community. I think here in the US, a lot of people know DraftKings for our entertainment and gaming products, um, daily fantasy sports, it skews um, heavily male on our consumer side. And when we're looking to build diverse teams globally, uh, it became a real challenge for us. So we are, we're working through lots of different sort of projects, one of them being uh, you know, a redefined EVP, but understanding you know, who that target candidate is and, and how it differs for us by country. We have offices um, in Eastern Europe, we have offices in Western Europe, and it's very different. And for us on the, the recruitment marketing employer brand side, we, we've done a lot of research. And to be frank, we are still doing a lot of research to understand that market. You know, we've scaled and built our talent acquisition team in, um, in Europe over the past couple of months. So we're really leaning on the folks that are on, you know, feet on the ground in, in, our, in, in our countries that we're, that we're growing in to really understand that market and how, how do we need to show up to attract the talent that will help us scale our business.